the Harvard Art Museums and we're looking at Angra's Raphael and the Foreign Arena. It's a strange painting, but Ang paintings often are a kind of strange mixture of coldness and distance and simultaneously intense sensuality. It's so you don't true. see that? No, I, no, I completely agree. And everything is painted with an amazing degree of precision. So that green velvet is just perfect, and there's no sign of a brush stroke, so it just seems like it is truly green velvet. Even the way the drapery folds has been absolutely idealized. So even the aspects of the painting where we expect the artist to allow for a degree of informality, even that is the most formal. This is actually a genre that emerges in the 19th century of artists depicting other artists in their studio with their model. Which is sort of appropriate for the 19th century, especially as we enter into the academic realm where even the quality of the paint, the style of the paint, is very often a kind of quotation of an earlier period. Also in this period of Romanticism where we have a kind of emerging self-consciousness on the part of the artist. So Aang is painting Raphael, and Raphael is Aang's hero, right? Raphael, the great Renaissance artist, is shown here in his studio, and he's just painted a portrait of his mistress, or, a very or famous is in the process. portrait. Right, the portrait is unfinished. In his studio, he takes a break from painting. He's still got his brush in his hand and uh, wraps his arms around his mistress, who sits on his lap, but instead of looking at the real woman, he turns his head to look back at his unfinished creation. But he has her look at us. Yes. And he has her look at us from the portrait that he's depicted himself having just painted. Right, so, so there's she's, two of her looking at us. Actually, they are there's, mirrors. there's three of her looking at us. And where's the third? Because the third one is in the painting on the back wall, which is a famous painting by Raphael called the Madonna de la Sedia, the Madonna of the Chair, which Raphael's mistress was said to have posed for. And she kind of looks out at us from that back corner, too. So three versions of the same woman. So there's this real sort of triangulation, because we have Angra depicting Raphael looking at his well, at his depiction of his mistress, mm -hmm. who in turn looks out at us as we look back at her and catch her gaze. To me, it's about Aang himself and his need to paint, that, I, that feeling of being in the middle of something. And even when your mistress comes to you and insists on you taking a break and sitting on your lap, you keep the brush in your hand and you turn back to look. And, and the act of painting is so engaging and so wonderful and the process of creation is so wonderful that nothing can and should disturb it. See, I disagree. Really? Because I think it's not about the act of painting, although that's very close by. And so actually I agree with a lot of what you're saying. So what do you think but I about? think what really trumps it is the act of seeing. Because it's Raphael seeing what he's rendered. It's, and it, it, it's us seeing. And it, it's in a sense... Angra trying to actually create, in a sense, the world of Raphael for us. It's a funny thing because we're looking at a painting of a painter looking at his painting. And actually looking <laughs> at his painting within it. Right. <laughs>